Hey folks, um, this video will be about a special kind of graph called a distance time graph and uh, teachers generally like to talk about this one. It's, it's kind of interesting because you get to graph situations that involve something moving and um, I would recommend that you watch the video before this on uh, linear and non-linear relationships or relations and those kinds of graphs before you jump into this. But if you haven't, that's okay. Welcome here. Here we go. <laughs> so a relation, as it says at the top here, it can be linear, which is a straight line, or it can be nonlinear, which is a curved line, between two variables. So the variables are two, it's almost like they're two topics. In this case, distance and time. So distance goes up here on the y-axis and time here is going to go along the x-axis, okay? So when something happens, time will start ticking and you can't stop time. So you'll never get a vertical line because it's impossible to stop time, okay? You'll never get a vertical line. And as something moves away from a point, it's going to go kind of in this direction. It's going to go in this direction because it's moving away. The distance is getting greater. If you stop the line is going to go across and then as you return the line will go down and that's kind of the theme of this uh, video here so let's look at some scenarios here okay the first one a student walks away from the classroom door at the front of the class at a constant speed okay so we'll assume the classroom door is the starting point and right there and uh, I don't really have a straight line ruler here, so I'm just going to draw it with a pen. The student is walking at a constant speed, okay? So it's going to be a straight line. If that student had been accelerating, in other words, walking and then moving to a run, um, I'll do that in blue, it could have gone kind of like this, you know, very fast. Now that, that may be too steep to be realistic, but I hope you get the idea. Okay, in this case it says at a constant speed, so we're going to keep the line like this in a straight line. Okay, I mean, how fast was that student moving? Because yes, it is, it, you can totally use this thing, uh, the steepness of the line, to talk about how fast the student was moving. It's not asking that question here, but we might as well talk about it right now. Um, that student was moving at, now, how many meters? Five meters every 10 seconds, okay? Five meters in 10 seconds. So five meters in 10 seconds is the same thing as saying, and if you reduce this fraction here, it's like saying um, one meter every two seconds, okay? Or you could say half a meter per second, but that's a little confusing. It's one meter every two seconds, okay? So let's look at the next scenario here. A student starts seven meters from the door. So seven meters from the door. Five, six, seven, right here. That's where they're starting from, okay? They're not starting down here at the door. They're starting up here, seven meters. I guess the back of the class would be somewhere here. I don't, I don't actually know how big the classroom is. They didn't tell us. Okay, so the student starts from here and walks towards the door at a constant speed. Okay, so the student walks towards the door at a constant speed. I just chose a straight line going down here. It looks a little curved only because my hand is not able to stay as still as I would have liked. Okay, constant speed means straight line, okay? Or in other words, a linear line, a linear graph. Okay, I'm sure we'll get into a nonlinear situation coming soon. Let's look at some more scenarios. A student starts at the door again, which is at the front of the class right here, and walks to the back of the classroom. Okay, We don't know how far it is to the back of the classroom because it doesn't say. I think here we're just kind of getting an idea of how to draw these distance time graphs. So the student walks at a constant speed. It's going to be a straight line for five seconds. Okay, let's assume the back of the class is like right here. Okay. So we're going to draw a line from here, from here to here, as straight a line as I'm able to. Then the student stops for two seconds. Okay, now remember, stopping means you're not 
you're not uh, moving at all, okay? The only thing that keeps moving, even when you're stopped, is time. So for two seconds, one, two, for two seconds the student stops and then walks to the front of the class again or to the front door again. Um, we don't know how fast it could, let's say it's a little slower, but it's probably a constant speed. I don't know. All I know is if a teacher asks you to draw this situation, you've done a fine job here, okay? Let's try the next scenario. It says, um, let's get rid of this dotted line here. There we go. It says, I start five meters from the door of the class. Five meters from the door of the class. And I walk towards the front of the room for three seconds. One, two, three. So for three seconds. Um, it doesn't say how far, just towards the front of the class for three seconds. So we'll just say right there. We could have chosen here, 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 here. Um, it doesn't say he arrived, or it doesn't say that I arrived at the front of the class, so let's just say I stopped right here. And what happens? Then stop for two seconds, so one, two. Once again, it's a horizontal line when you stop. And then go to the back of the class, which is seven meters away for six seconds. Okay, let's count the seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it's seven meters away from, we don't know from where, let's assume seven meters away from where we are now. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And let's assume it's a constant speed, so it's a straight line. Okay, if this was the case, the class would be nine meters big from front to back. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Um, so someone, I guess I'll say I, and it's on a bicycle, okay, on my bike. I'm stopped at a red light, okay? So we're stopped and it's at the beginning of wherever we are, which in this case is a red light. I pick up speed until I am at a comfortable pace and I keep that pace. Okay, picking up speed means your pace or your speed is changing, it's increasing. So it starts off kind of going like this and it starts to go quicker. But as soon as you have a comfortable pace, he just keeps that pace. Um, sorry for the beep there. I thought there was going to be an announcement. Okay, um, no there shouldn't just be a little here, I'll just draw a straight line here again. There. So picks up speed and then keeps a comfortable pace right here. Okay, the pace, the comfortable pace is the straight line. The picking up speed is the curved line right here, okay? The nonlinear uh, graph right here. And then it becomes linear right here. The overall graph is nonlinear though because of this little curve here. Okay, look at the next situation. I'm riding comfortably at a constant pace and have to stop quickly for a red light. Okay, so riding comfortably. All right, we'll assume, I don't know, we could start from a point of zero. Hmm. Or if you're going towards the red light, if we call the red light the starting point because this one started at the red light, let's say you're riding comfortably towards the red light you're riding comfortably and all of a sudden you have to stop at the red light. So it starts to level off and it curves until you are stopped because you are slowing down, okay? So it's this time moving downwards, it's curving until you reach a horizontal line which is when you have stopped until you're allowed to go again, okay? Um, the graph didn't need to go downhill there, I just wanted to show it that way. Um, let's see, could I erase that graph and show, let's say you, let's say you were at, let's say you did exactly what you did in the last graph, right over here, so I'll just kind of draw a situation like that. And then you're at a comfortable pace here and suddenly you have to slow down. Okay, it would curve like this into a horizontal line again where you're stopped. So some of these questions are a little bit hard to know whether you know which direction you're moving. So hopefully your teacher if they asked you a question like that they would be willing to take whatever argument you gave them. Okay? 
In this situation here, it says describe a distance time situation that would match the following graph. These are kind of tough because you have to use your imagination. Um, I'm just going to use my imagination. Let's pretend I had a mouse and the mouse was how many meters away from the cage? Um, let's say the cage was at the bottom here and the distance from the cage is five, six, seven, from the mouse is at eight meters from the cage, quite a ways away. And the mouse is moving at a constant speed for six seconds. Then the mouse um, stops because he or she smells a cat nearby. So for one, two, three, four seconds, the mouse stops. The mouse sees the cat and quickly goes to the cage really fast where, the sa where it's safe. Now the reason why the mouse is moving quicker here towards the cage, you can tell because the, the line is steeper than it was over here. The steeper the line, the faster that mouse is moving. Okay, so there we go. Let's look at another graph. Here we go. Let's make up something. Um, should we just stay with the mouse if we want to just try to keep on that theme? The mouse is over here uh, away from the cage, obviously one, two, three meters away and moving at a constant speed away from the cage. Um, the mouse sees a cat near the cage or smells something I should say and stops, so one, two, three seconds stopping, um, hurries away from the cage quite quickly but realizes all of this happened really quickly realizes that it's only a stuffed cat, not a real cat, at the cage, and there is actually a real cat about to pounce on that mouse. So he or she runs very quickly, only one, two, two seconds. Oh, wow, so it goes five, seven meters in two seconds back to the cage where he or she is safe, where the mouse is happy and safe again, um, happy to eat the, the food and also to run on the wheel and play in the safety of the cage. Alright, so let's summarize here. If you move away from a starting point, the graph moves which direction from left to right? Well, the graph moves upwards, okay? It moves upwards from left to right if you're moving away. Feel free to push pause on the video and I'll just go ahead and answer these, but you can stop me by pushing pause. If you move towards a starting point, the graph moves down. Okay, so this one the graph moves up, this one the graph moves down, sort of in that direction. A constant speed is a straight line. Okay, remember we said that before, a constant speed is a straight line. It could be any direction, uh, but it has to be either this direction or this direction. It can't be this direction because in the next question below, if the line is horizontal, it means you are stopped. Okay, so a horizontal line, it means you're not moving at all when it comes to distance time graphs. The faster the speed, the steeper the line. Okay, the steeper the line. So someone moving this speed is not going as quick as someone going that speed. Or someone going this speed is not going as quickly as someone going this speed. Hopefully that makes sense. And if you accelerate, it's a curve, okay? If you accelerate, it's a curve or a curved line that gets steeper. Okay, if you're accelerating, you're going faster and faster, okay? Um, and if you're decelerating, it's a curved line as well. That gets, um, what could we say, less steep? You start to slow down, okay? Um, less, less and less steep. It almost, well, it basically becomes horizontal, okay? or vice versa, like the last question we looked at, it becomes horizontal. And that means you're stopped. So when you're decelerating, you're approaching being stopped. So that's why it gets closer and closer to a horizontal line. Hopefully that made sense. 
and hopefully you were able to sort of you get the general idea of what a distance time graph is and I hope you're ready to take on whatever it is your teacher is trying to give you when it comes to distance time graphs. Good luck everyone. Have a good day.